गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लीवर सो आई हैव लीवर इन माई ट्रेस सो लीवर लाइज ऑन द राइट साइड दिस इज लीवर इट इज एक्चुअली वेज शेप्ड ट्रेंगुलर वेज शेप्ड पिरामिड शेप राइट सो दिस इज इट्स एनाटमिकल पोजिशन आई विल टेल यू वाई दिस इज दिस इज ऑफ राइट साइड तो आपने यू हैव टू होल्ड इट इन द टर्ड्स द राइट साइड द एग्जैक्ट position i will tell you how to hold we put a finger in the this inferior vena cava to hold this organ in the anatomical position so like this so it will take its anatomical position automatically if we put the finger in in the inferior vena cava but we have to support the organ from below because it's a heavy organ toot jayega ye right so i'll explain liver now it is a wedge shaped organ it has five surfaces and one border so five surfaces are as i already told you I, we have to put the finger in the inferior vena cava this is the inferior vena cava right so we put the finger in the inferior vena cava and hold it like this so this is its anatomical position so now it has five surfaces one border so if we hold it like this this is the anterior border which is smooth and continuous this one is the posterior surface up to this this one is the inferior surface right so posterior and inferior surface somewhat they lie in the same plane so till there this is a posterior border not exactly the same plane but it is not smooth as of anterior surface so we differentiate the posterior in posterior surface and inferior surface like they are not smooth they are not in same line so this is a posterior surface this one is the inferior surface right we have fossa for gall bladder this is the gall bladder lying in the inferior surface so the main this is uh, more visible gall bladder on this surface inferior surface so inferior surface has gall bladder so this is inferior surface this one is posterior surface this is anterior surface this is superior surface and this one is the right lateral surface so we have five surfaces i will explain on this one is better than this specimen so five surfaces superior surface anterior surface right lateral surface now posteriorly we have posterior surface and below we have inferior surface so it has one border which is very sharp which is inferior border this one is a sharp border sharpest of all border this is inferior border so inferior border separates the anterior surface from the inferior surface or the inferior surface from the right lateral surface so this is the only border prominent one this is inferior border it has two notches one for the ligamentum teres notch for ligamentum teres and one is for cystic notch which is the notch for gall bladder right now let let's explain the surface one by one now first we come to the anterior surface this is the ligamentum teres this one is the falciform ligament that is these are the folds of peritoneum actually falciform ligament divides it into two lobes the largest one is the right lobe towards the left side it is the left lobe so the falciform ligament divides the anterior surface into right lobe and the left lobe so this is anterior surface and it is finished right now come to the posterior surface if we see the posterior surface there are a lot many things to discuss on this surface posterior surface so let's take different specimen where the things are more clear if clear visible so let's take this specimen so on the posterior surface this one is a posterior one so anterior it is divided by falciform ligament right so towards the right and left side we have the right and left coronary ligament these are this is a right coronary ligament right triangular or left triangular ligament so it has two layers superior superior layer of coronary ligament and inferior layer of coronary ligament they they join to form the right triangular ligament towards this side we have left triangular ligament right now on the posterior side we have two lobes one lobe is quadrate lobe on the inferior surface we have quadrate lobe right this is a quadrate this is fossa for gall bladder this is the gall bladder this is fossa for gall bladder this is quadrate lobe this is quadrate c1 quadrate is in the posterior lobe and quadrate lobe is on the inferior side 
right now let's mention the boundaries of the chordate lobe so chordate lobe is bounded on the this is the left side this is the right side because i have shown you from the back if we see in the anatomical position so this one is the right side this one is the left side this is its anatomical position right side so they, this is the right side this is the left side so right side we have inferior vena cava right group for inferior vena cava so boundaries of the caudate lobe are towards the right side we have inferior vena cava where we put the finger to hold it in the anatomical position this is the inferior vena cava right this one hold this is inferior vena cava on the right side left side we have ligamentum venosum right and below it is guarded by the this is porta hepatis right so this is porta hepatis we have already mentioned during the histology of the lipid structures of the porta hepatis portal vein hepatic artery and bile duct right so this is porta hepatis globe so the boundary is complete of the quadrate lobe now we come to the quadrate lobe quadrate lies below on the inferior surface so inferior surface same above below is the anti inferior border sharpened anti uh, sharpened inferior border above is the porta hepatis towards the right side lies the gallbladder or fossa for gallbladder towards the right side uh, towards the left side we have ligamentum teres right now now this caudate lobe communicates with this the remaining of the lobe posterior lobe by a caudate process so this projection is called caudate process and this elevation is called papillary process of the caudate lobe right the caudate lobe communicates with the right side uh, of the posterior surface this this is called caudate process and this elevation is called the papillary process then so one more elevation is present here to the left of the ligamentum venosum this is called tuber omentale tuber omentale this projection is called tuber omentale right so this is the fossa for gallbladder and this is quadrate lobe now now we will discuss the bare areas of the liver so what are the bare areas actually bare area means when uh, the peri where we have no uh, peritoneum is not present here right so where the per peritoneum folds are absent here number one is groove for inferior vena cava so it is here the liver is occupied by inferior vena cava and below it in the groove there is no peritoneum right so bare area is one first one is groove for inferior vena cava then we have fossa for glall bladder then we have false rim ligament then main structure is porta hepatis below it there is no peritoneum so there is a bare area again then in in between the superior and inferior layer of coronary ligament means right triangular ligament so these are the bare areas of the liver right so this is all about the borders and surfaces and regarding the anatomical position of the liver now we will come across the relations on the inferior surface posterior and inferior surface of the liver because liver is present on the right side of villi in this side right towards the right side so anteriorly it has no organs we it, this is covered partly covered by the diaphragm and rib cage above we have a diaphragm here we have a rib cage right so posteriorly there are the different organs present be, beneath the liver so what are these organs likewise the uh, organs are present in our body starting from there we have esophagus here we have gastric impression gastric impression here we have pyloric impression right and towards this side we have col colic i mean sorry duodenal impression here we have colic impression then towards this side we have this one is a renal impression and the here is the supra renal impression so look carefully a small esophageal impression then we have gastric impression then we have duodenal impression here we have colon transverse colon colic impression right then we have renal impression here and supra renal impressions so these are all the impressions on present on the inferior surface of the liver so thank you very much student this is all about the anatomical position its border surfaces bare areas and impressions of the liver thank you very much